Good evening, everyone, and welcome to St. Andrew's Round Hay for this daily reflection for Friday, the 25th of September. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. For the eagle-eyed amongst you, you will uh, notice that this is a bit of a change of scenery uh, today. Um, my uh, recording studio, as I would like to call it, or the front room, as my parents would like to call it, um, is currently being occupied with all sorts of my things ready to move to Sheffield in the near future. It's a bit chaotic in there um, and there is absolutely no space to be recording anything. And it's, But it's actually that kind of uh, string that I wanted to pick up on tonight. Um, that, that idea of new beginnings, um, because for me it's very much a, a new beginning moving to a new city. Um, and starting a new job and a completely new job, um, something that I've not done before, on, at least on a professional basis. And all of us in some way, of course, have uh, come across new beginnings um, over our entire lifetime, uh, you know, starting new schools, starting universities, um, starting new jobs, moving to new places. Um, and of course, over the past uh, half a year or so, uh, we've had so many new beginnings, so many new things starting, um, and of course, so many things ending as well. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 onwards, says this, reading from the New Living Translation. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Pl they are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. In those days when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. We probably hear the words uh, from that, particularly verse 11, on a more regular basis of plans to prosper you and not to harm you. We probably hear the words uh, from that, particularly verse 11, on a more regular basis of plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Now, I'm not normally a fan of, of kind of individual Bible verses, or not all the time anyway. Um, you know, thinking about verse 11 here, you know, because they they are often taken to mean something uh, completely you know, different, not not this one, but other, other verses in the Bible are often kind of taken out of the context they were written in, or even just, uh, you know, amongst the verses they're written with as well, um, and, and often used to, to promote um, something that's that's kind of not really what it's meaning. And of course, that's not not really the case here. But as I say, I'm not not normally a fan of, of individual Bible verses. Sometimes, there are, there are times when I really need to hear just something. I, I need something to just shout at me. I need something to say exactly what it says on the tin um, and just comfort me and, and help me through a particular moment. And this verse 11 um, and even the, the remainder of that passage that I just read, which goes up to verse 14, very much does that. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And of course, I'm sure uh, last night most of you had an early night. Um, I certainly did. Um, I had an early night anyway. Um, but um, of course, yesterday, Thursday was the um, first night of uh, pubs and other hospitality venues closing at 10 o'clock. Um, I'm sure it affected you um, so much um, not being able to, to stay out past uh, past 10 o'clock. Um, but as this new um, this new wave of restrictions comes in to force um, and you know plans plans today, um, sorry, yesterday, by the Chancellor uh, made, you know, they're looking at six months um, and other things looking maybe a little bit longer. Um, 
you know, things like VAT repayments looking at 11 months after and lots of these plans that are looking uh, so much further into the future than we, we can really fathom. Um, we've been in lockdown now for the best part of six months and to hear that um, plans are being made um, for for the next six months and six months plus um, to to keep uh, to minimize the effects of coronavirus um, is is quite worrying for us because it, it might make us think that we are we are going to be in lockdown for another six months that that may be true I I wouldn't know um, but I think in this time of worry and in this uh, time of of uncertainty. There is there are no greater words of comfort than than these words from Jeremiah. For the note, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. But I want to offer you a little challenge for the next week. As I say, we've been in lockdown for six months now. And we, at least maybe for the past month or so, we were maybe getting used to the, the new routine. Um, maybe even in, in June or so, we were getting used to that routine of being locked down. And then, you know, as restrictions lifted, we were getting used to how those things were going. And here we are back, maybe uh, almost back to square one. But there will be people out there who uh, are struggling to get used to to whatever's going on at the moment and maybe just struggling to to keep up with the changes that are happening and so i'd like to encourage you this week to to speak to one person not only one person please try to speak to others as as you go about your daily business but i'd like you to actively uh, proactively speak to uh, an extra person perhaps a person who you might you might know is struggling or just a an other person because actually so many of our struggles are are internal and particularly as we're we're also feeling so isolated at the moment those uh, problems will very much be be kept inside kept to themselves so someone might be going through some issues without being able or feeling comfortable telling anyone. And so my message to you this week is very simple. I would like you to speak to that person and I would like you to, you could say the verse if you'd like on its own, or you could, you could uh, just encapsulate and embody the, the verse, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. For some, seeing into the future and seeing a positive future is, is difficult. In fact, that's probably the case for all of us at the moment. So pick up the phone. Pick up your mobile Text, WhatsApp, call, Skype, Zoom, whatever you want to use. And give that person some glim a glimmer of hope. Because that call from you might be the call that they needed that week, that month, for this whole lockdown period. I know over the next couple of months and, and maybe even years, I, I probably won't see as many of you at St. Andrews as I would like. Moving to Sheffield, it's, it's not gonna be easy for me to keep in touch with everybody, certainly not physically. Um, and of course, with the virus at the moment, that's even, even more difficult. But now more than ever, we need this communication and we need to hear these words of hope, these words of comfort from in this case, the prophet Jeremiah, but there are so many examples of these words of comfort in the Bible. And so I bid you farewell for this week, but go well. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all and remain with you. 
کمک